everybody, my name is Andrei Marinov. I'm a PhD student of uh, Ghent University, Belgium. Uh, our group is a member in CMS since 2007. It's uh, quite a new member, uh, but we are very active in all this pro pro process. Uh, we are working on the RPC commissioning at the moment. Also, we are searching for supersymmetry. We are doing physics analysis, and uh, so we are busy with the top quarks, and of course, it's a high-level trigger study. Uh, it's nevertheless, I can say that I'm extremely happy that I'm a part of this group. Uh, the group is really, really on um, a very high level, and. Um, that's it. <laughs> so, so what does your work with the trigger study and the RPCs actually involve? Me, personally, I'm involved with the RPC business at the moment, and um, there are several colleagues uh, which are involved with the supersymmetry, uh, the high-level high level trigger study and top quarks. But for me, personally, I can say that I'm involved with the RPC business. And as you know, the RPCs, the resistive plate chambers, are an important part of the CMS detector. They're part of the trigger, uh, especially the end caps, and uh, <clears throat> they can uh, give us information very fast uh, when and uh, where we have in, we have an event, an interesting event like Neon, uh, which uh, I think that the CMS detector will work uh, much more efficient with RPCs if they work well. So now that the um, experiment is closed again and the magnet is about to be warmed up again, what will your work in the next few weeks, months, years be involving? Yeah, up, up to the present moment I was involved with the RPC commissioning. It means we were preparing the chambers for the start of LHC. Um, for the moment, mostly, I mean, 99% of this work is done and uh, I think we are in really very, very good shape. We are the best shape, actually, for the moment. And I will be, uh, how to say, I'll be moved to another activity. It will be much more focused on my PhD thesis, which is, uh, uh, again, on uh, gaseous detectors where, um, for a high-rate application. Uh, for example, these are micromegas and GEMS, which is a very interesting uh, field for me. Um, yeah, and actually, these days, I'm really starting doing this business. Okay, and so are you? Wor you're working on upgrades and. Yeah, and for uh, so, again, group is in, will be involved for uh, for the upgrade of uh, the end caps. In the future, we, if CMS decided uh, we need uh, to do up scope for the chambers, uh, uh, we 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 have to build the next RE4. And what kind of knowledge do you need to have to be able to do this? Well, you need uh, <laughs> really a wide, uh, wide knowledge of many, many things like engineering, uh, physics, uh, com computing. And, I mean, uh, it's not a work for one man, of course. It's a work for a big team, and uh, in this big team, the, the team spirit is, uh, how to say, the, the, the important engine here. And uh, this is... I'm very happy that I'm uh, in part of Ghent Group because exactly our group has the right team spirit and um, I'm really, really, really very happy to be a small, small part of it and I'll try to do my best. And I understand you're a PhD student here. Excuse me? You're a student here? Yes, I'm a student here. I'm based at CERN <coughs> and uh, sometimes I'm traveling to Ghent uh, to do the stuff there. Uh, but I'm, yes, I'm a student, I'm based at CERN. And what are your studies on? Uh, your PhD, what, what are you actually looking into? <laughs> yes, um, well, I will try to develop, um, how to say, it's, uh, for the moment it's really very the beginning, but I, I'll try to look a bit, uh, how to say, much more in details about these cases, detectors, and try to improve their quality to be try to make them much more stable in the time um, in the viewpoint of many parameters like uh, high voltage consumption etc and try to make them a bit easier to operate with them and uh, to work with them and what would be a sign of success for you what would be a sign of the general experiment success and your personal success well my personal success will be if I, there are common things, you know, two, two things going to one point. 
I will be extremely happy if I see CMS working, um, uh, really working on the, the way like it was designed and we start taking nice data. Also, I will be extremely happy to see LHC working. So this means that all this work that we have done up to now, it's not just, uh, you know, and uh, this for me personally will be very, very happy moment. We just have a couple of minutes to talk about your um, your actual social life when you're not working, um, if you have any. I know physicists work very, very hard. Um, you're living in France, is that right? Yes, I'm living in France, in um, the city of uh, François Voltaire. Uh, we are, by the way, neighbours. Um, his chateau is uh, 200 metres from our apartment. And, uh, yeah, my social life is uh, here is a very nice region, by the way. and. Uh, in Geneva region is extremely extraordinary with the mountains around it and uh, and the nature. And in my free time, I w I'm using my free time to go and have a walk somewhere with m my family, and then etc. And also I have a one little little hobby. I'm I'm radio operator. I'm uh, trying when I have really a spare time, which for me that is not in the vacu in in my life in principle. I'm trying to work work with my radio. And how does Switzerland compare with uh, Bulgaria, where I know you're from? Well, uh, yes, this is a big question. There is a big difference between between Bulgaria and Switzerland. Let here, let's say that Switzerland is much more, how to say, organized country, and a very nice country, very calmly. And uh, yeah, I think that we can stop to here. So just to wrap up, um, what would you, what advice would you give to students who are wishing to come and learn or study or work at, at CERN? Well, I can say, based on my experience, one thing. So, before year 2000, I just heard about CERN, and CERN for me was something like, you know, uh, a dream. And for me, I was thinking it is quite not possible even to, to go there, I mean, as a tourist. So what the young student has to follow here is they have to be very serious in their studies. They have to try to, to learn the things, I mean, to fight with the problems and, and learn the things in parallel. And they just keep, they have to keep following the, their dreams. That's enough. That's great, Andre. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your experiences. Thank you. Bye.